Every Wi-Fi router can be an access point. Whether it's an old one or a new one, the technique is the same. This could be a short-term solution you're looking for, or for long-term purpose, you wanna extend your Wi-Fi signal to another room, but you do not have that cash, or you cannot go out and buy a repeater or an access point right away, but you have an extra Wi-Fi router there, you can use it. And I'm going to show it to you, quick and easy. All right, guys, let's take a look at this TP link that I have here. Probably you might be having the same kind of Wi Fi router. And if you try to go at the back here, you will have the link and then the username, admin, and admin. So this is basically the default username and password of this Wi Fi router. And given that this is a old Wi Fi router or something that is used before, we don't know the username in the password. So what will we do? We are going to reset this one back to zero like when it was purchased, the original settings. So you have this button here, okay, that says it's going to be, it's reset, okay? So we need to press this button when we are going to reset this one. But if you are having a different kind of Wi-Fi router, like this one, a very old Cisco Wi-Fi router, if you try to go here, you have a reset button there that you need something to push so for me for an example you have uh, i have this one inch nail you can use this one to push if you can hear that one like that but that's not how to reset it yet okay so we are going to use this one so that it's easier to do but i'm just giving you an example here so that you can see that you need to push the button okay uh, for some wi-fi routers they have it here somewhere here there's a hole and then there's a reset button that you need to push okay so just giving you an idea with other wi-fi routers so you need to find that one now the next thing we need to do here is uh, before we press that button we need to plug this one first okay so you can see it's powered on just wait for it to turn on okay so in this case okay that's already on oh wait wait up this is tp link okay it's blinking just wait for it to completely turn up okay so we have the one wi-fi this is already up and running so the thing we're going to do is if you have this button here we need to press this one for a few seconds and i don't want to press that one already remember for 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 other wi-fi routers it's going you need something to push it right like this, the one I showed you. So going back here, th since this is like something I can press with my finger, I'm going to uh, count down from three so that you can see the change in the lights here. So three, two, one, press. Just watch for the lights. Just watch for the lights. So wait up, wait up. Okay, you see that one? All of them lit up. I'm just going to release this one. And then basically this is going to reboot itself. Okay, we have this icon here, but uh, most Wi-Fi routers, there will be a change on the display of the LED lights. And then that's the time you're going to release it. So you see, it's booting up again. Okay, until it's already done. So we can log in here and configure it as an access point. So I can get my phone. You can use your phone or your a computer so for me i'm just going to use my phone here what i'm going to do is go to my wi-fi then look for the tp link okay i have it here tp link and it does have a password yeah we have the password also here if you can see it here the wireless pin is like three five nine four three four nine five so i'm just going to use that one Three, four, three, four, nine, five. I'm going to join. Okay, so there we go. I have the tip link. Now, once it's already config, uh, once I have already got in, I just want to go ahead and check the IP address here. You can see it in my phone. So the router IP address is 192.168.0.1. So I'll just go ahead and open a, a web browser. So I'll just go ahead and type in here, 192, you can see it here, opposite 182, 192.168.0.1, okay, I'll go there, 
and then you see this one this is the login page that I'm talking about so we type in um, admin small letters and then admin again here that's the password so we can change this one if we want now you can see it here that um, we can access this one I just want you to go ahead and navigate to wireless the first thing we need to do is set up the wireless first before we um, uh, configure other things so I'm just going to change this one with um, uh, AP I'll just go ahead in AP then done um, enable so if I'm going to save this one um, I'm going to be disconnected because I'll change it the name with AP so I'm going to save this one what would it say if I'm going to save okay so turned off so it's going to change that one then I'm going to go here and check on AP there you go AP is there I did not change the password so I'm just going to enter the password 359 again 359 four three four nine five four nine five okay join okay so the the ssid or the wi-fi name is already changed then i'm going to go back here got it i'm going to refresh i'm, I'm going to go again to that um, um same page i logged in a while back like the 192 the 168 so 192 the 168 the 0.1 so if I'm going to log in okay same I think it's let's refresh this one to make sure okay so I need to log in again because the other one is a different connection the router allows only one administrator to log in at the same time please try again later so I just went on to restart the Wi-Fi router uh, make sure that I'm connected with that AP if it turns on Let's wait up. Oh, there you go. AP is there. I'm just going to click that one. And I should go back to this and refresh this one. Okay, there you go. So I'm just going to type in again admin. And then admin. Then login. So the next thing I want to do is make sure that I'm going to change the password. It's up to you if you want to change the password. Uh, for me, I'm not going to use it because this is for demo purposes. You go here and then you can find that wireless security. Then you can change it here. There's the, here's the password. There's the password that we used earlier, 3594953. You can change the one and save it. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do it. Now, the, the very crucial thing that you need to do here, guys, is the DHCP, the option where it says DHCP. Now, this might be different in different routers, but this is the most crucial thing you need to do because if you're not going to do this one, it will create a conflict with your main Wi-Fi router that will mess up your network wherein you're going to have two or more DHCP in your network. There should be only one DHCP server in your network given as the access point should not be rendering as a DHCP server only your main Wi-Fi router to avoid conflict so what I'm going to do here is disable you disable the DHCP server save this one and then the change of DHCP will not take effect until this device reboots okay okay and then uh, change DHCP config you can see that one please click here to reboot so i'm just going to reboot this one scroll there there you go i'm going to click here click here okay reboot okay okay so rebooting you have the percentage there now once this is going to fully reboot itself i need to connect this one to my main wi-fi router so i'm just going to close this one then take note of this i'm just going to get a cable and connect it here all right, so here's the cable coming from my main router and you go at the back here, you plug your cable here 
not on this one port. If you try to go close enough here, I don't know if you can see, it says one, not here, use these switch ports, okay? So any of this one, one, two, three, four, you plug it there. Okay, once you plug it here, okay, it will get that internet connection from the Wi-Fi router, you can see it here. That's the indicator that something is connected there. And at the same time, all these remaining three ports here, you can, you can connect computers or laptops here or devices that require um, wired cable. So this is also an option for you to reuse these extra ports to connect to other devices. Okay, so I wanna go back to my phone here. Let's just go ahead and make sure that I'm connected to AP. So you can see it here, this is the configuration we did earlier, okay? And then I'm going to go to um, speed test or uh, speed test or Google. You see, I have already a internet connection. You can see it here, AP. This is the one we configured, okay? And let's go ahead, go. There you go, we have a ping. Okay, so this will be limited to the technology that it has. Uh, I'm using a Starlink. Uh, this is Max is 200 plus, but this Wi-Fi router is, I think, only limited to up to 50 megabits per second because of the technology that is embedded with this one. Now, the good thing about using an old Wi-Fi router is that, like what I've mentioned earlier, you don't need to buy an extra one or maybe it's a short time solution that you are going to do. All right, take note guys that for newer Wi-Fi routers, there is this one click button that you just go ahead and click like access point mode and that Wi-Fi router will automatically become an access point. You just need to set the Wi-Fi name and then the Wi-Fi password. So I'm just going to show it to you with this Ruigi Wi-Fi router, how easy that is. So if, if you have a newer brand or newer kind of Wi-Fi router, you find that option access point mode, then set that one up and it will be quick and easy. But if you don't have that one, it means to say that your Wi-Fi router is a little bit more older, so they don't have that kind of option. So let me show you this one. So we are going to reset this one. Let's just check the credentials at the back. You can see the IP address, the default IP address is 192.168. Mm -hmm. SSID is X at Ruigi and then the model number. So we'll try this one. Okay, so you can see this is this has steady lights already. I believe it's already boot up. I'll just go ahead and three, two, one, press this one. Watch out for the lights. Watch out for the lights. Not changing, not changing. Hey dude, come on. Okay, so this is fairly different. I'm just going to hold it up for a little bit. Okay, it's not changing. Uh, let's try to see if I'm going to release my uh, finger here that it will do something different. All right, it's not doing anything. Oh, it rebooted already. You can see that one? It did reboot. It just wait for a few seconds and it will reboot. So I did not do anything. After I released that one, it did reboot. So let's just wait up for it. So it's doing its thing. Once it will find uh, fully reboot, I'm just going to go to the Wi-Fi, uh, default Wi-Fi access for this and then try to set it up. Okay, so it's up and running. You can see the steady lights. This should be, we should be able to log in here. I'm just going to check. I'm still connected with the AP. Okay, I can see the Luigi here now. I don't know if you can see that one, the Luigi. I'll just go ahead and click. It doesn't have any password, so it's okay. We can just go ahead and, okay, it, it, it jumps me into the uh, login, but it's not showing me anything here. So let's try to refresh this one. Nothing's happening. Okay, so I was able, this is the one, the landing page of this. So landing page. Okay, so this is the landing page. Oh, it's disconnecting me because I don't have a internet connection. So I'm just going to go connect here right away. It's... Okay, so let's go here. Uh, the router is the same. You see 192.168.110.1. .1. 
if the login portal is not working, you just type in again the um, IP address that's written at the back or on the settings that I've shown you, 192.168.110.1. That is on your settings page here. You can see it here. You click that. You go here, 110.1. Okay? So I'll go back here. Go. Then this should be able to load this uh, screen. Configure. Then it's basically asking me to connect a, um, what do you call this one? A cable. Now this is what I'm telling you guys, that you can, this, this kind of Wi-Fi router here can be a wireless repeater. Okay, so you can also perform configuration without a cable because it's asking me to connect the um, uh, router right away, or I mean the main Wi-Fi router, but we can go ahead here. Then uh, if you can see it here, um, we can click as a repeater. Like that, if you try to see it here, you have the option wired repeater or I want to enable wireless repeating. So it's the same if you go for here, um, you can check uh, the one the one port is not plugged in with the with the cable. So I can plug in if um, okay. So I need to plug in first so that it's not going to give me that error. So here we go. It says WAN port. Okay, so I plug it already, and then I'll go, okay. And then it's going to check, actually. So you, you see this one? There's already a plug one. It says um, um, wired repeater. And like what I've said, you have an option to be a wireless repeater, but it's up to you with, with this one. I want to enable wireless repeating. You can see at the bottom. This is a Ruiji Wi-Fi router, but it's up to you if you want to do that one. Now here you can set up your Wi-Fi password also. You can do it as blank or you need to have a password. So I'll just go ahead and save this one. Now it's asking me to set up the one, the uh, administration password. And then one, two, three, four, five, save. All right, so this is already set up. And let's just go to my speed test. Okay. This is uh, a newer Wi-Fi router than that, but I think we still have the same kind of ping. It's a little bit 34, 35, 36, 37. Anyways, we were able to set this one up as a uh, wired repeater using a cable. You have an option of doing it as a wireless. So basically, that's one of the examples of uh, newer Wi-Fi routers. Okay. So I've shown you two kinds of setting up that Wi-Fi router that you have there. The other one is mostly a, a way older kind of Wi-Fi router, which is TP-Link, wherein you do not have that one-click button to set up the Wi-Fi router. And then the other one has that capability. It basically represents a newer technology and newer software system that most Wi-Fi routers right now have. So. If you have that option, will good for you. It's easy, you can set it up. But if you don't have no problem, as you have seen in that video, you can go ahead and disable the DHCP server. Just make sure that that's the last part you're going to do because it will be harder for you to re-access the Wi-Fi router unless you're going to um, uh, wipe out the configuration and go back to zero again. So if you have any questions, guys, um, just drop a comment down below and I'll try to answer them as much as I can. And if you have learned something from this video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, um, comment down below, say what you have learned from this video, and of course, subscribe because it helps this channel grow. So see you on the next one.